So students have been working with place value disks um, for quite a while now, and those are just circular disks that are either valued at 100, 10, or 1. So we are going to use place value disks in addition to the written algorithm to help us solve some addition problems. So let's start with 36 plus 45. The very first thing students need to do is write the numbers vertically or stacked on top of each other, like so. The numbers in the ones place should be in one column and the numbers in the tens place should be in a column as well. So now that we've written the problem vertically, we want to model the problem using a place value chart. So I'm just going to draw a line here so that I can separate my tens and my ones. I'm going to start with the number 36. I know 36 has three tens. 10, 10, 10, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. That represents my first number. Now I can draw and model my second number, 45. 45 has four tens. One, two, three, four, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So now I have 35 on the top, I'm sorry, 36 on the top, and 45 on the bottom. Now I start by adding the ones together. I know that I have at least 10 ones. And when I have 10 ones, I can bundle or exchange for one 10. So I'm going to circle my 10 ones. I have six here. And if I add four more, that will make 10. So now I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm going to draw an arrow to the tens place and draw my new 10. I'm going to show my composition of a 10 or my bundling of a 10 by writing a 1 on the line below the tens place. We call this new groups below. I have a new group of 10 and I'm writing it below the tens place on the line instead of writing it on the top because it's always easier to add in that extra 1 at the end. Again, that's called new groups below. And then I have one, one left. So I'm going to write the total ones below the ones place. So I bundled and made a new 10, and I had one, one left. Now I need to count how many tens I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. Or I could add up the ones. Three, I'm sorry, the tens. Three plus four is seven. Seven plus one is eight. Eight tens and one one is the number 81. Let's use another example. 25 plus 28. First, I stack the numbers vertically so that the ones place and the tens place are lined up. Then I model with my place value chart, separating the tens and ones columns. I have two tens and five ones for my first number. And I have two tens and eight ones for my second number. Notice that I'm putting my ones in rows of five. This makes it a lot easier for students to recognize how many they have and it also keeps them organized. So now I'm going to add my ones first. I know I have enough ones to bundle to make a 10. I know if I take my eight ones here and add two more ones, I'll have 10 because eight plus two equals 10. I'm going to draw an arrow into the tens place and draw my new 10 that I just exchanged for. I show this on the written form 
by doing my new groups below. I'm adding that one on the line below the tens place. So now I know I have three ones left. I write the total of ones below the ones place. And now I add how many tens I have. I have one, two, three, four, five tens, or using the written method, two plus two is four, four plus one is five. So 25 plus 28 equals 53. And that's how you can use addition by modeling using place value disks and the written algorithm.